My name is Federico Michetti and I'm the sport director of Nautor Swan. I'm in charge also of the Club Swan Yacht Division and I'm in love with my job. Creating new boats is something unique. We do our Sea Swan have a great collaboration since many years. We have more than 2,000 yachts all around the world racing and ORC is basically their home. Club Swan Yachts are the Nautor Swan line for racing. Our one design boat, so real time is essential. The crew are making the difference because all the boats are the same. From the early 70s, Nautor Swan has always been leader in sport division. Our boats are racing and competing, winning all around the world. We are very proud of our DNA and it's something that we will work harder and harder every year. I'm Alberto, Alberto Pindozzi. I also work uh, for uh, the Offshore Racing Congress, the ORC. I'm part of the technical staff and I'm the person in charge uh, of uh, post-processing the clouds that are received uh, by the central uh, office. Well, from 2016, uh, there is a strong relationship between uh, Nautor and ORC. And actually, there is a special department inside ORC uh, that is taking care about all the swans around the world that would like to get a certificate. ORC is providing ratings, means that using a VPP, a velocity prediction program, to calculate the polars, the speed of the boats, and each angle and uh, in, each, in eight uh, wind speeds from six to 24 knots. This is used to calculate the results in regattas where the boats are all different. And to do this, uh, we need uh, to acquire some measurements. One of these is uh, the shape of the boat. It's, if you want to attend an ORC event, it's mandatory to get an ORC certificate, yes. Well, the, the process needs to be split in two different parts. One part is acquiring the, the 3D shape of the boat, which can be done in different ways. The second one is the measurement on the boat that can be done by using an official measurer and get the boat properly measured uh, during the process of uh, acquiring all the information. Working with the 3D scan and acquiring cloud of points, uh, we can measure the boat in whichever condition we want, also with uh, keel and rudder separately, and then we can merge everything, trim the boat properly and get uh, and convert this cloud of points uh, in, uh, in offset files, which are the files that are used to calculate the certificates. There are uh, many pros in using the Lake RTC 360. Clearly, we spend uh, much less time into the field, means that in three hours we can get the proper shape of the boat and come back into, into the office. We, can, we, we don't need to get the boat properly trimmed when she, when she is on the cradle, means that we can scan the boat in whichever position she, she is, and then we can adjust the trim and the heel when we are working on our computers. So today we, we scan the new Club Swan 43. Uh, it was a very good uh, test for us. We start uh, to use the Lake RTC 360 to acquire the shape of the boat and the checkerboards. We did uh, like uh, 17 setups to acquire all the shape, the checkerboards and all the bottom part and to, to get the boat completely scanned. And now the only step that needs to be done is to come back into the office, center the cloud and prepare the offset file. While we were in, in the yard, we took the occasion to measure also one kill of the Swan 58 that was not available in our database. So we used the, again the Lake Art C360 to acquire also the t kill version. And uh, this will be obviously cleaned, centered and then applied to the existing offset file in order to get the two versions available in the database. Uh, once we have the cloud, the cloud uh, is cleaned from uh, all the, from the cradle, from the stations, from uh, the transom and all the stuff that is not related to an offset file. And once the, 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 the cloud is centered properly, we start to cut the the cloud with vertical sections. So basically we recreate the shape of the boat in 3D with vertical sections. This is needed because we can then run one of our software that is called LPP 
and with this LPP we can actually calculate the volume that is below the waterline. And with this system we can calculate the weight of the boat, the weather surface, the trim and all the things related to the boat and the hydrodynamic of that. We, when we come back into the office, we use the uh, Cyclone uh, tri Register 360 Plus to register the, the clouds and to connect uh, all the setups together and get uh, the proper bundle. Mm, time to time we use the Leica TrueView to deliver to the more curious owners a preview of the cloud and the job that was done uh, in the yard so they can actually uh, see what we did it and what we acquired from their, them both. Yes, hi, I'm Matteo Zuppini. I'm part of the ORC technical staff. Well, we are in Finland because uh, um, it was a kind of a natural thing because we, uh, we were using uh, Leica products and, and um, we had also a strong uh, bond with um, Nauto and, and the Swan class. And, uh, so we took this occasion to do this uh, partnership um, and, and scanning uh, a boat uh, here in Finland. ORC has a, has a network in, uh, in more than 54 countries around the world um, and we, we are in, uh, uh, we're dealing with um, member national authorities and a, a really strong network of, of measures and um, can, be, can be very challenging sometimes but also it's definitely something that everybody uh, can add uh, something to, to, into the mix. We call the Club Swan 43 in Outdoor Swan the perfect crossover because it's not only a combination of pure racing in the one design context, but it's also meant to go racing around the world at the most important RC regatta. But it's a great crossover again, it's a great combination from the family that want to have a beautiful holiday sailing very fast in a high performance condition, and then the week after coming at the Swan One Design World and competing in the One Design class. I think that this is a great combination. Uh, there are not so many yards that are able to have this kind of vers versatility, but we believe that this is going to be a success and I can't wait to see happy owners sailing their boats, both in cruising and in racing. <laughs>